This may be a little risky, you know. I, I, I like, I like, you know, Jimi Hendrix and you know some of that. Jimmy's is considered on the, the rock and roll style, but he's a little wild. He's a little out there. Yeah. And uh, I, I kind of did because I'm a guitarist as well. So he really sort of did his own thing. And I like people who sort of stand for it, for what they believe in and go at it 100%. You know, like Bob Marley and artists that were sort of rebels, you know, represented what they wanted to do, not not a part of the record company. Was like, hey, you should go this rock. You released an album last year. You've got a new one coming out imminently. Uh -huh. What was the logic behind releasing them so close together? Throughout my whole career, I've been releasing albums maybe two, three years apart. And I really didn't need that much time. I just thought that was the time that was allowed it to take, you know, in my mind. But the way the game has changed a lot, you know, the game has changed tremendously. You know, you have to be more, much more productive. And uh, because it's a lot, I wouldn't say just competition, but it's a lot more influences out there, and, and I still want to be one, part of that influential pack, you know, and, um, and, and it's important to me just to continue my legacy, not just being looked at as, okay, he's getting older, but his music is getting better, you know what I mean? It's not about who, me individual, it's about what my music is representing, and I think that's another thing that keeps me in the pocket of where I should be, because it's all about music at the end of Take a, you know, Stevie, was, was blind for years, but his music was so incredible. Like he, everything he saw, we saw. Yeah. You know, he couldn't see it, but it's, it's incredible. When you think like that, and, and, and you got people like on American Idol now, you know, this young lady, well, I wouldn't say young, but I can't think of a name, but she's the big new sensation now. But they, they, they pretty said it, they said it pretty good. Like, what is it? being an artist really about? What is this music thing really about? Have we resorted ourselves to only the image part of it? Yeah. We're forgetting all about the music. And I think that's what uh, Susan Boyle was the name. Re reminded some of the people, it's not about how you look, not about how old you are, how, it's about what the music makes you feel. And it started out that way, so why shouldn't we continue? So, um, for those that uh, watching this, they may not know we're actually uh, behind the scenes on a video shoot. So, oh, you're yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, about excuse that my manners. We are in uh, uh, one of my uh, call sessions because we, we have a lot of these video shoots. And uh, we only set in my new video, uh, Magic, from the new album coming out July 14th. The name of the album is called Signature, and I've been um, working on it pretty, pretty hard. It's an incredible record. I wrote and produced the whole album. I haven't done this in a long time since my name is Joe. And, and um, you know everything. Those of them I wrote and produced the whole album. So here we go again. Just you know, which is completely my whole energy, my style. They call it swagger now. You know, it's it's it's, it's a beautiful thing. I completely went yet left field and what everybody else is doing. I got some live music on this bad boy that I know y'all gonna love. So definitely look forward to July 14th for the release of that signature record. All right. I got a bit concerned actually for a while because uh, I thought Joe Joe had stopped uh, producing, stopped writing. I'm like, what's wrong with this guy, man? He's you you, got, you understand music. You're a lover of music first, and you you understand how to construct a great piece of music. Oh, but see, the thing is, I also appreciate other people's production, other people's music as well. I'm a fan of someone making a great, you know, piece. And even though I didn't play, I still feel a part of that because it's something excellent. You know, I want to be a part of that. And I think that's what um, sometimes you get caught into. Uh, uh, just saying, you know what, let me, let me do this. Let me try something different. Yeah, I know my style, but I want to break out and maybe do something really different. And maybe that has hurt, me, hurt my career along the way at some point. Uh, but that's what things are all about, trial and error, to see what works and what doesn't. And um, we're back to basics. And uh, I feel great. And even though all those years, that's why I'm able to come out with so much material. I still was working, I was still working and writing and producing, but just holding on to it. Like, ah, I'm, it's starting it to way too personal. Yeah. Personally connected to the records. Oh. You know? So you're taking it back to Fade to Black? Taking it straight back. Yeah? Fade to Black, you know, the production. And it, it feels good, you know, just to do your own thing once again. 
and it's almost like I started from ground zero, leaving a major company, doing it all independently. And uh, now I have my own publishing, you know, company and own labels. So, I mean, it just got better for me. Do you feel freer now that you're not attached to uh, a Mercury or a Jive? Because you had, you had some, there was some stuff that went down with Mercury, right? You left Mercury. What was the whole story behind that? Well, it's, it, I think it was more so creative uh, differences. Uh, you know, mm. I think I wanted to move in a, a little faster direction. That I think they were taking me a little bit more old school at the time. And I wasn't ready for that. I was still young, you know, in my teens. You know, I, I wanted to party. I wanted my music to be in clubs and banging. And, you know, just work with other artists, you know, as well. Yeah. So when you, when you got that young energy, you in the clubs too, you know, partying with everybody else, you want to be, yo, I want my music up in this joint too, you know? Yeah. And I think uh, the, the speed of it and, and the, the passion of where I was going wasn't really taking that direction. And I decided, I said, you know what, let me, let me move to a team. I think that may be more suitable. And another, another interesting thing about your career is you have worked with a ridiculous number of high-profile producers, writers. Who Artists, has? Who, who have you learned the most from? Who's been? Uh, I would probably say. Uh, I would give an artist credit I mean, because it, it I reached a certain level at that time with her, and that's why I mention this a lot. But just to see how I know the level she was at was always has always been ridiculous as far as I've known. And yeah, she can sing. Oh, she no, yeah. I mean, <laughs> just singing. I'm sorry. I mean, as far as her status, who she is. Yeah. And to see how she conducted it, and with the work that, the, that she put in, I didn't, I didn't. I had to see it, you know, up close and personal. And I was really, really inspired by that. Like, you know, if she could do this with as much as she has going on, with the amount of photo shoots that's coming at her, man. And I just saw it every day. Like this. I don't see how she does it. And, and jumps right back into the studio. You know, in the studio to ten in the morning, go straight to another. It was incredible, and I was like, I'm done. I haven't seen what I need to see, you know? And I said, that's how she does it. She stays focused.